hey boss greeting on this video i'm going to explain to you uh the machines that you need but on this video you have to see all the entire machines that is being used to produce the wheelbarrow but i will pinpoint the main ones that uh you will need all right this is the first major machine that you will need deep hydraulic press machine The one that I have booked for you is 315 tons. And you can see the mold. There's a mold that is being mounted on the machine. And we have to also take into consideration that the trays are of different thickness, right? So the 315 ton can stretch up to a one millimeter thick tray. So this 315 ton is it's okay. This same machine will handle everything that has to do with the tray. So this is the main machine that I've been talking about. Alright, this is the second machine that is used for hemming the corners of the, the tray. But we don't need this machine. We need just the first machine. And we will mount the mold that is in this second machine, in the first machine. And this machine that you're seeing is a little bit smaller than the first one. So we don't need this one, we just need the first machine. Alright, this is the next machine that will be needed. The use of this machine is to punch the holes that are on the tray. You can see the holes. We don't need this machine. What we need is just the mold. We we'll mount the mold on the first machine and it will do the job. And you can see this one machine is a little bit smaller smaller because it doesn't need that much ton to do the punching and so we don't need that machine what we need is just this first machine where you see this guy with red is standing that's the only machine we need all right this is the second major machine that we need and even the chinese they they do use uh, the automatic one manual cannot do a perfect job but for large production, that's when you start thinking of two, three of this same machine. So we need this one. And you can also use it for other metal work. Like I told you, the chair, metal chairs and so on. All right, this is the third major machine that is needed. The punching machine. This one is used, as you can see, to punch those holes that are needed on the wheelbarrow frame. And if you look in, you will see that this frame goes with, it has been formed with the legs together because it's the requirement of the customer. So once you program everything on the computer, the automatic machine forms everything like this. And that same machine, the punching machine can also produce this that you're seeing. The punching machine can also do this. So that's the use of uh, the punching machine. And this, those are the three major machines that you need. The first one is the 315 ton hydraulic press. The second one is the automatic uh, bending machine. And the third one is the punching machine. <laughs> all right this is the section where they do some paper work and uh, spraying it's a huge machine right here this machine you see right in front um this machine they use this machine to uh, some paper the the frame they some paper the frame before they do the spraying both they are all automatic but you don't need this machine because some paper can be done 
manual you can use hand sandpaper and the work will be done so you don't need those machines now after sandpapering, uh, the frame goes to this section, which is optional, you know, just to reinforce the, the frame. Alright, let me take you on a summary of the major machines that will be needed. Number one, 315 tons deep hydraulic press, what you're watching right now. And it is capable of handling everything that has to do with the tray. This is the second machine that is needed automatic bending machine it is capable of bending any shape that you want once you've programmed it it will do the job exactly this is the third and final machine that is needed the punching machine which is used to punch holes on the frame and uh, other parts that will be used to link the frame and the tray so that's all and so the only thing that uh we will have to outsource will be the wheels because the wheel this is another production it's another production line the company that produces the wheelbarrow tray and the frame they don't produce this wheel they also outsource it for other from other companies that do produce this wheel so we can also outsource since we are still just starting yeah we can outsource the, um, the, the wheels so you can see these are very easy things that we can do back uh, home and we make money very easy but we rely on import we rely on importation here in china and you can imagine the process I've just walked you through. And now they are loading a 40 feet container to be shipped to Africa. And even sometimes the worker, they are asking me, your country, you don't produce these things? So I'm like, you know, I, I feel baffled when they ask me such a question. Because it looks just so simple. Simple things that we can do. But we rely on importation. And this will be far cheaper if we have to produce all these things. We have metal, we have all this raw material back home. We produce these things by ourselves. So imagine all these workers that are busy on, on this uh, video. Each time we place an order, we create tons and tons of jobs to these people tons and tons of jobs and these are simple things that we can do by ourselves for a very very cheap cost back home and so nobody should expect to have a cheap price each time you place an order here in china don't expect that because all these workers they need to be paid they also have families standard of living is getting very expensive very high so 
things are not as cheap as before in china i will post a copy of this video on youtube so you know anybody can watch i don't know if you have any question you get back to me thank you so much bye bye <笑>你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你你